So first off, we're going to go to our GitHub where we have our STL files for this year's badge. If you click on each one, it actually 3D renders each of the parts, including the back. And then if we go back here, we can go and click the body and you can see the body version. We've got the hole for the antenna. You can change this back and forth. These are just where we've put the STL files for now so you can download them directly. Not necessarily the way that you want to lay them out. Then we've got the badge face. And lastly, we have the internal power bar where you'll use that notch to be able to turn on and off your badge. So while the STL files are there, you want to be able to modify and change it. There is a awesome program online that's called Tinkercad that's owned by Autodesk. You can sign up for a free personal account and customize it everything inside of the browser. So you don't have to download complicated CAD programs. To get started, you can literally just use this Tinkercad program. So you can click that copy and tinker button and it's gonna make you a copy of the original files over onto your profile. And then you're able to go through, use, change, modify, add, take away, everything on Tinkercad. There are lots of different tutorials online on how to do this. If you've never worked with a CAD program before, I'm gonna put a link or two to getting started, but I will walk you through how to be able to adjust a little bit specifically for the Darknet badge face. So we're gonna click that copy and tinker button up there, and then we're gonna have the badge face. If you click and hold with your uh, left mouse click, you can actually move the view. Then we're gonna click the text, bring it over here and use the double arrow buttons to be able to change it to about 90 degrees. You can then click the text and type in whatever you want, i.e. my handle is what I'm gonna go through and put a text here on the face front. I'm gonna adjust this down by either dragging or hitting the shift button when I go through to resize things. Just experiment here a little bit, but it gives you numbers to where if you wanna make it larger or smaller above each object that you click, you can actually see the two different boxes that tell you how long and how wide it is. So I checked to make sure that this wasn't going into any of the cutouts. I'm also changing it to all caps because in my experience, capital letters will print off clearer than the smaller letters. So I've gone through change the color to where you can see the color difference between the face front and the font. Now I'm clicking and holding my mouse when I'm moving up and down for this CAD view. There's this uh, both these different cutouts, one for the screen and one for the USB plug-in. We want to make sure that whatever modifications we're doing are not going through and hindering those. I also just changed the height of my font because when you click on it, you have a height depth in the center of whatever you're going through and doing. You can then change that to about be about one millimeter above. You can then click the export, name it, and save your file. And this is going to export your custom-made STL file for your printer. So now if you follow us in the next video, we'll go through and show you how to take this STL file and put it into what's called a slicer to be able to send to your 3D printer. Like, subscribe, and I'm looking forward to seeing your custom-made badges.